Good morning, it's Sunday right now and I've been doing a little bit of sticking that book together, the pages of the book together. <laughs> and I've, I've come up with a, a slightly different strategy this time so I'll see if it works. I uh, am using, because uh, obviously I didn't explain anything about it in the last video, I'm just using PVA glue watered down a bit and then I'm sticking five pages together, putting greaseproof paper or baking parchment like under and over it, closing it, putting a great big, oh you didn't see this either, a great big book on top of the closed missile to flatten it all down and then letting that dry. I did see it on a video, I think it was book and paper arts, but I'll double check that and mention those in the description and she said to leave each one to dry which is why it's taking so long I mean it's about an hour but like if you do it and then I go away and do something else and then three hours later I've forgotten that I've done it because I was going to do some yesterday and I only did like one lot and the other thing is is that I don't want to wash my gluey thing every five minutes so it will last for a few hours and then just put kind of the PVA and spray the brush and stuff and it's fine. So this time, today, I've done one lot of five, put the greaseproof paper in and then I've done another lot of five, put another piece of greaseproof on either side. So trying to do two at a time. Might take longer to dry though. So we'll see how it goes, whether I can double the speed because I've still got loads to stick together and I want to get started on it. But I know that you need patience. To make it look good. I wanted to show you some Inktober drawings because I don't think I have and I mentioned it. I did some caught up at the Mucky Duck till Thursday and then I haven't done any until this morning. Halfway through October I am catching up but I shall show you what I have been doing. Oh I just remembered I did show you the first few because that was from a picture of a rose in our garden. This year I have chosen botanical prompts, so I'm, I, I never go with the actual prompts. I always kind of look at what the prompts are and then look at what different prompts are <laughs> and tangle pattern prompts etc and kind of just pick and choose what I want to do which is kind of against the um, whole trying to think of something to do out of your comfort zone. Uh, but yeah I showed you this, this was the ginkgo leaf. And I think the Trillium was the last one that I showed you, which was the third. Day four was poplar leaf and I discovered that there are actually quite a few different types of poplar trees. So I have chosen a few different shapes of leaf. So we've got the yellow, the black and the white. Oh now this was chrysanthemums on the fifth and I have a gaming friend called Crafting Mantis. And she had just literally sent me a picture of a praying mantis that she had on her chrysanthemums <laughs> like two days before. When I saw the prompt, it was like, oh, mantis, can I use your picture? So obviously there were a lot more flowers in here, but I wanted to focus on the praying mantis. Day six was poppy seed pod. And I've done this in the brown pen because I thought it would go with the seed pod idea. And I so happened to have a jug full of poppy seed pods <laughs> on my desk. So I have actually used those as reference. Right, day seven, <laughs> I decided to amalgamate day seven, eight and nine, which were, I don't know what order they were in, poppy, daisy and fern. But I really quite like this combination of the three. So I think that's really nice and delicate and I, I'm pleased with how that worked out. Number 10 was dog rose leaf. So I decided to kind of do a kind of a negative of this. So I've obviously shaded in all the background and left the pattern as the white leaves. Day 11 was lavender. So I just picked three different types of lavender. I love these with the flags, I think they're called.
start anise seed pod. I kind of simplified this so it's a bit more like a, well it's not like a tangle pattern really, but I did minimal shading on these. And then for the 13th today, I finished this today, this was dahlia, I was going to do again like the lavender different types of dahlia because I know you can get lots of different flower heads or well at least three like the the really full ones like this and the ones with kind of single petals but which are bigger but I, and, and I started with this one and I saw it and again my gaming friends Minecrafters will get the reference here this one was called obsidian so it's like oh I'm going to have to draw that <laughs> and so I finished that this small oh no oh fan palm I had started drawing like a close up but I just I just couldn't be doing with it. So, I looked at the whole tree of a fan palm. These are Californian fan palms. I kind of wanted to do a bit of a silhouette. I'm really pleased with how those turned out. That was day 14 and it is now the 17th, so I do have a little bit of catching up to do. Hopefully, I'll get some of those done today. Good morning. It's Monday and I've got lots of things to do. It's one of those weeks again, but thankfully no days at the Mucky Duck this week. So I've got a fairly clear week to get all of this stuff done. What I do in my diary is I have, this is kind of a throwback from photography when I did have a lot more appointments, is I rule halfway down the page and then the right hand column I put all of like the appointments that I need to do. So obviously when I was doing photography, it would be meeting customers, it would be sessions, times of sessions, etc. And then the left hand side is things that I need to do, like my to-do list. I don't know why I'm doing it in quotes because it is a to-do list. <laughs> but I've kept that on because there are obviously classes and things that I do. There are days that I need to do at the Monkey Duck. So it keeps it separate. And from my days working for a photographer, she always used to put things, appointments and things in the diary in pencil because notoriously people change appointments, things come up, you have to move stuff. So to avoid Tipex all the time, it's in pencil so you can rub it out and you can write it somewhere else. That's why all of the appointments are in pencil. And then what I do is... I'm just randomly telling you this this morning because I I have done exactly this. If there are things that are standing the week previous, I will then transfer them to the current week. And sometimes I pick days on which to do them. These ones, I've just put them all for today. I'm not going to do them all today, but at least at the beginning of the week, I know the things that I need to do. And then I put a dot next to them the week before so that I know that I've transferred them and obviously once I've done them you cross it off. Does anybody else do what I do when they're writing a to-do list? They might write something that they've just done. They know they've already done it. It's just so you can have the satisfaction of crossing it off. <laughs> That's what I do. Anyway, this week, art newsletter. That is one of the things that gets <laughs> normally gets transferred from week to week to week because I really must do it. I've been quite good this year. I have actually done an art newsletter every month apart from August. And yeah, I really must do the art newsletter. I've got to um, check my Etsy ads because I've just put the Halloween pages on and I decided that because I had had such a good month at the Mucky Duck that I would do the ads for a couple of days, for a few days, although having said that, that Mucky Duck money really went on the thousand cards that I ordered, so maybe I shouldn't have done the ads. <laughs> so I need to check on those and I'll probably stop them because I haven't sold anything over the last couple of days. I want to varnish a couple of acrylic paintings to take to the Mucky Duck. Ones that I've been looking at, I'll get them for you just found an extra one actually. Once that I've been looking at thinking, shall I either try and improve them or shall I just go over them and start again or shall I just varnish them, put them in the shop and see if they go. This one, it is this way up isn't it? 
yeah, fairly sure it's this one. <laughs> this one's called Looking Up. That might sell. I don't know whether to kind of go over some of this. See, this was painted in 2016. So that's what, uh, five years ago. And I haven't done a lot of acrylic painting, but maybe I could improve on it. Anyway, that's one. This one, actually, I did make cards of them and I had one of the cards um, at a sale price in the Mucky Duck and that actually has sold the card. So I might just put that in. I think people think it's a bit odd. It's called Yorkshire Pyramids. And it is a place in Yorkshire called Yorkshire Lavender, where they have loads of beautiful gardens with all the lavender fields and things. They've got a cafe so you can buy all kind of lavender products. Had a, I think it was a lavender and blueberry skull. I still remember that. I did, did buy a little packet of culinary lavender. And I used to make lavender scones with that. Within the gardens, they've got these like sculptures and things. So... They really were there. <laughs> it's not just like a random, a random image. And they had this like, this gate in the middle of a field that had, it was open, but it had no walls to it. So, or fences. So you just, what was the point of the gate? Going through the gate when you can go around the side. Anyway, but it, it's got, it's got the, the countryside and stuff. So I might actually, it's only small. And somebody has bought like a, a board from there before. So I think I might pop that in, give it a whirl. And then the last one, I do have one card left in the shop of this. But this will be handy because I can put it on the wall. But you see, again, I don't know whether with my kind of experience progress, this was, this was done in 2015, whether I can actually improve on the quality of the painting or whether to just varnish them. That buttercup's a bit of a splodge. Maybe I can improve on that. I don't know, artists are their own worst critics, aren't they? I'll see, I might varnish the other two and then see if I can improve on that one. Back to the list. My sister-in-law <laughs> has taught me into <laughs> painting a picture for my brother-in-law's birthday, which is coming up at the weekend, because she wanted me to, to take a photograph of something, and she was like, I know that you're not doing the photography, so it's completely fine if you don't want to take it on. I said, no, I'd rather not photograph it, but I could do your watercolour. She was like, yeah, that's great. So I'm gonna have to do that. <laughs> it's for my husband to give to his brother. So I'm getting paid for it, so I guess I just take it as a commission. Anyway, I, also really must put an order in for some prints, some gicle prints, because I want to try and get a few in the shop because people might buy them as Christmas gifts. And then the other thing I want to do is I do want to hand paint some Christmas cards, a few Christmas cards for the shop because the hand painted ones do go. They're probably not the most economical of money making things but I think I guess I could do quite a few at a time and they are nice to do and they're unique and small and if somebody doesn't want to buy a big painting there yeah so oh that's lots to do I still need to glue the pages of the book yes in the previous clip the experiment oh no it's stuck <laughs> the experiment of doing two lots of five I think it's worked all right. It's, I don't know, that still feels, I did that last night. It still feels a little damp. It's all stuck to the baking parchment as well. I don't know if that's my imagination or not, that it still, still feels a little damp, but that is, they're all the ones that I've done, and I've got that much to go. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> this has taken ages. And I really, 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 really want to start on this because I got a lovely, lovely comment this morning on one of my other vlogs from Linda. And 
talking about the book and stuff and she was kind of the person that I didn't want to offend <laughs> and she said that she feels that this book has kind of come to me at a time when I can use it for art journaling and use it to help me through the feelings and the thoughts and the stuff that I'm going through at the minute and that's exactly what I want to use it for. I want to to put words in it that I'm feeling and because I am kind of I am kind of writing stuff down to to help me get through it and I've not uh, properly art journaled before. I've done some things in my the sketchbook that I started. I've like written some words and stuff but it isn't somewhere that I go all the time. Yeah, I really, really, really want to start this and I don't know why I started at the, the back sticking them together because if it had started at the front then I could have started but I think the whole process maybe it was a good thing because the whole process of getting the book fully prepared before I start the art journaling is probably a process that I need to go through and teaching me patience which is one of the the biggest lessons that somebody's taught me recently patience I've just had a delivery. My business cards, which I have been meaning to order for weeks and weeks and weeks. Oh no, I can't get in. One pack, two packs. They are from moo.com. These are, oh, it's bent. <laughs> That one. These are made of offcuts from the t-shirt industry. So these are actually cotton. So recycling, they are a tad more expensive than the the plain paper ones, but I do try and, and be environmentally friendly. And what I changed from the last time was I just changed the details here because I had my old phone number on and I also made this writing a bit bigger because now I'm getting on a bit and I couldn't even read you know when you get to that age when you're like this and I've got contact lenses so I'm putting off going to the opticians because I'm not quite sure what's what's going to happen with the bi whole bifocal thing so I've made that um, I've made that bigger so that people can actually read it. it. It all needs shifting up a little bit. But I decided to leave the backs. What you can do at Moo is you can get any amount of designs on the back of your cards. So on the front, you have to have like all the same. But obviously that is good because then you've got all your, your contact details on and things. But I just decided to stick with the five that I had because um, even though, I, I can't remember when I last ordered these, even though I've kind of added styles and things, I think these still accurately represent the things that I do. I've got the three upright ones there. And then these two, this is one of my best selling cards, the Twilight Trees. And of course the Poppies, which original painting sold a couple of weeks ago at the Mucky Duck. 
The other thing that I need to do is find a place for all of these cards and make up some kind of little packs of the Christmas cards and make up some more packs of the sketches. But um, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed at the minute by all of the stuff. So I think what I'm just going to do is because I really, I really want to, I really want to clear a space here. And I've got like cards in there. I've made sure that they've got envelopes. And that's why these are all in piles like this, because I've checked that they've got their envelopes. I just need to check that these ones have got all their envelopes. But I think what I'm going to do is just to kind of calm, calm my brain a little bit is try and get rid of these orange bits from the gardening journal. I gessoed the side of this the other day. Um, oh, yesterday, I think it was. And I have put a little layer of gesso on here. I know I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I had splodged orange on the side of this lovely page. So I think I'll do that. Pop some orange on here because uh, this is still September's pages. So I need to start on October's pages as well. I said like there's there's so much to do in Inktober as well. I still I, I need to get Inktober done. So one thing at a time. Yes, I know I've crossed off varnish and I've only varnished one painting, but I decided to paint over this one 
and I will probably bring the progress of that in a separate video because this is the first time I've ever kind of redone a painting. You also saw me put this on some little kind of chocks and these are, oh if I can, I, I'm hand holding the video. <laughs> Okay, I needed two hands to pick that up. <laughs> These are two little uh, business card holders that I have kept forever in my uh, photography case, thinking I'm sure they would be useful for kind of propping up things that I'm photographing, etc. because you always need little bits and bobs just to maybe tilt products and things when I was doing that. And I, I may have used them, but I had the bright idea of putting them under the board as it was being varnished. Because if, if I lay this flat and it's got a bit of varnish on here, it just sticks to the paper. So I thought that was an ingenious idea. As you saw as well, I got a few more of the pages of the altered book stuck together. I'm still probably about, I don't know, halfway through, but that is, that's coming along. The, the two lots of pages are working, but I think they do stay a bit more damp, but then I think I am watering the, the paint down quite a bit. So when once they dry, they don't stick together and stuff, so I think that's fine. And I am liking the way that this is going, so I'm really pleased with that. I think I might do the branches back over in ink so that it's really really dark and striking so I'll see how that goes and it's Thursday I've got the whole day up until half four to get on with things I know I haven't done the painting for my brother-in-law I'll probably start that today might have to record that for next week's vlog because this is a nice luxury that I get a Thursday to edit tomorrow's video all the other things are on the list Hand painted Christmas cards I haven't done and the, I haven't put the prints order in. I really must do that. I'll try and do that today. I'm going to leave the vlog here and get on with things. See you next week. Oh, and as of at this minute, I've got 229 subscribers. So that's like 10 in a week, which is, I know it doesn't sound a lot to big YouTube channels but for my little channel it is growing quite quickly so thank you very much everybody who's subscribing if you are subscribing on that 40 second video how to photograph cards uh, could you let me know in the comments below if you're watching these because I would love to know if you have subscribed on that one and then are kind of watching other videos that would be lovely and as usual leave a like you can um, support me on coffee.com. I'm 93% towards my goal for buying some more inks and when the memberships go through at next month I probably will be there but if you want to if you want to do a little donation then the link is down below and kind of help me get to that and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!